Lockheed Martin has said that it envisions India as a potential production and export hub for the F-16 Block 70. As part of the ongoing Tarang Shakti air exercise involving 11 nations, India's Tejas aircraft flew alongside the world's best fighters, including the Rafael Eurofighter Typhoon F-16 Block 52 and the A-18G carrier-based electronic warfare aircraft. The 240 units of AL-31 FP engines that was recently cleared by the Cabinet Committee on Security, will include integration of a full authority digital engine control system, which will replace the older analog hydromechanical system, thereby improving engine performance and reliability. Indian Army's Battle Axe Division unleashed mechanized maneuvers in meticulously executed drills in the deserts of Rajasthan. The DRDO chief has said that the Jorawar light tank has successfully completed internal trials and is on track for army user trials by the end of the year. In the wake of a recent accident, the Indian Coast Guard has temporarily grounded the entire Dhruv helicopter fleet as a precautionary measure to conduct a one-time safety inspection. The Indian Navy has signed an implementing agreement with the South African Navy to provide submarine rescue assistance. The Indian Pavilion at the Egypt International Air Show 2024 showcased a wide range of advanced defense systems. General Electric has said that it is all set to commence deliveries of F404 engines from this month, with two engines scheduled for shipment. That marks a crucial step in the production of Tejas Mark 1A aircraft by Hindustan Aeronautics. The first Tejas Mark 1A aircraft has been manufactured, while three more Mark 1A aircraft are awaiting new engines. General Electric aims to deliver an additional six F404 engines by the end of March 2025. Lockheed Martin's chief executive for Southeast Asia William Blair has said, that Lockheed is ready to offer the world's most advanced air defense missiles to India, which includes the 120 km range Patriot Advanced Capability 3 missile segment enhancement, that is designed to engage tactical ballistic missiles, cruise missiles and aircraft, as well as the THAAD system, that can detect aerial threats at 1000 km, and intercept short range to high altitude ballistic missiles at 200 km. The DRDO has completed research and development of the 1,000 km range ship launched anti-ship subsonic cruise missile version of nearby cruise missile, and the fabrication process is currently underway, and latest reports indicate that the DRDO will start developmental trials next year. The DRDO has already developed a universal vertical launch module, that can accommodate both ship-based subsonic missiles and the BrahMos supersonic cruise missiles. Bharat Electronics Limited has started fabrication of its long-range radar known as Sastra, and it is expected to undergo developmental trials in the coming months. The Sastra is believed to be a variant of the long-range radar developed by DRDO for India's ballistic missile defense program, and it will have an extended range search and track capabilities of over 2,000 km, and is also capable of detecting stealth aircraft and unmanned aerial vehicles. Today's top 3 comments.